Welcome to Dr. Aidan's Guide to English Language. In this series of English language videos, I'll look at some of the most frequently used figures of speech that can be used in essays, tests, exams, or everyday life. Here are a few examples of similes. Now, a simile is a figure of speech in which two different things are compared with one another through the use of like or as. The simile also tends to focus on one quality being transferred from one thing to another. For example, you could say that she is as gentle as a lamb. Now, here we take one perceived quality of lamb's gentleness and transfer it to a person. The idea is that a lamb is one of the least aggressive of creatures and we can expect the same type of behaviour from the person being compared. A very different idea comes from he's as strong as an ox. Here we focus on the single quality of strength as epitomised by an ox. And note that the simile focuses on one quality the strength, as opposed to any others, such as its level of intelligence or its aggression. Now what about this? He eats like a pig. Here we focus on the one quality of how a pig eats. Now this might be the quantity of food or messy eating, and we are transferring that to a person. These three examples use the real or perceived qualities of animals. And there are many others, such as blind as a bat or brave as a lion. But there are other slightly more complex examples, such as the idea went down like a lead balloon. Now, this simile yokes together two dissimilar things, an idea and a balloon, but then takes a balloon's normal quality, being light and perhaps floating upwards, and adds an imagined quality, a balloon being made of lead. So the balloon falls instead of floats and quickly communicates the idea that the idea went down very badly. Now what about this? Last night I slept like a log. Now, clearly we know that logs can't sleep, but what has been transferred here is the quality of intense stillness and a lack of consciousness. We imagine a person lying down to sleep and not moving at all during the night. Lastly, how is a simile different to a metaphor? Well, if we convert any of these similes to metaphors, we would get she's a lamb, he's an ox, he's a pig. The idea is a lead balloon, he's a log. We can immediately see that where the simile transfers one clear quality, the metaphor transfers all of the qualities of the things being compared, and then we have to choose the one that we think is the most likely. So, these then are some examples of basic similes that you may encounter, and for those who are interested, I will analyse some more complex ones in a future video. Thank you for listening to Dr Aidan's Guide to English Language. Please give a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe now so that you don't miss any of my future posts.